second class rank requirement 3D. Demonstrate how to find directions during the day and at night without using a compass or an electronic device. There are several direction finding methods for when you don't have a compass or other electronic device. You can use the North Star. You can use other constellations to find the North Star. You can use your watch, the shadow stick method, the sun and moon, or the equal shadow method. The North Star method. Ursa Major, also known as the Big Dipper, is a constellation that looks like a water dipper, where the four bright stars make up the bowl and the rest of the stars make up the handle. First, find the Big Dipper, which moves around the North Star with the seasons in a clockwise motion. Then use the, t the two bowl stars farthest from the handle to point to Polaris, the name of the North Star. You can then line up sticks on the ground to make a north-south line and make sure that you are lined up with the North Star. The constellation method. There are many constellations, star formations, that you can learn that will help you navigate by the stars. Cassiopeia is one that always circles Polaris opposite of Ursa Major, the Big Dipper. You can always find it on the opposite side of Ursa Major. So if you're having a hard time finding Ursa Major, but find Cassiopeia, you can use it to find Polaris as well. Orion is another constellation. Orion is also known as the Hunter. He has a row of three stars in a row that make up his belt. It makes him very easy to find in the night sky. Orion is always in front of Ursa Major, the Big Dipper. So the Great Bear, Ursa Major, is always straight above the Archer's three star belt. But remember, the constellations rotate around. So Orion may actually be upside down and above could really be below. The Sun and Moon Method The Sun and the Moon always rise near the east and set near the west. There is variation between the seasons, but the general direction is always the same. Remember, it rises near the east and sets near the west. So that means you can only use the Sun or the Moon when they're visible, if there are no clouds, and for only a few hours in the morning when the sun rises, or in the evening when the moon rises, and in the afternoon when the sun sets, and later on in the night when the moon sets. When they are directly above, it will not be easy to tell which way is east or west. The watch method. In the northern hemisphere, hold the watch flat. And when we say watch, we mean an old-fashioned watch with hands and a face. Hold the watch flat so that it points, the hour hand points towards the sun. Now bisect the angle between the hour hand and the figure 12 on your watch. In other words, draw an imaginary line between the hour that it currently is, which is pointing at the sun, and the number 12. This should give you a north-south line. In daylight savings time, bisect between the 1 and the sun instead of 12. The shadow stick method. Find a flat piece of ground and hold a stick that's about 1 meter or 3 feet long, upright in the center of the ground. Mark the tip of the shadow with a stick or stone. Wait 30 minutes and do the same again. A line drawn between the two points will now run from west to east, with the first point being west. The equal length method. This method can only be used before noon and is more accurate the earlier you start. This is an extremely time-consuming method, but will allow you to determine north by the end of the day. 
In the morning, drive a staff or long stick into the ground and then draw a circle around it. Using the shadow produced by the staff as the circle's radius, mark where the shadow touches the circle at point A. Wait until the afternoon and check where the shadow of the staff touches the circle again and mark it as point B. Draw a line from point A to point B. You have now created your east-west line. Stand with your feet on the west mark and your right foot on the east mark. You will now be facing north and your back will be facing south. This has been Scott or Rob. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to get more updates for more great videos just like this one. Don't forget, always go to your Scoutmaster to get these things signed off and share these with other Scouts.